of Elston Equine Solutions, partnership with the Clopton Cow Company, and I welcome you to another episode of Gaining Knowledge to Become the Solution. So today's topic is talking about how to tie split reins together. And uh, you're probably wondering, like, why would you ever do that? Well, there's a lot of dude ranches. There's a lot of uh, wrangler positions out there where you have, it's just easier to buy a lot of split range and just tie them together. And they're all across the United States, and that's how they get the job done. So there's a couple of different ways to tie them up, you know, to mitigate the risk of, you know, Joe Blow or Susie Ann, whatever, you know, starts riding on this uh, fluffy, and the reins drop, and the horse steps on it and breaks the reins, and now they got no control. They don't have no balance to fall off the horse. They gotta have mitigation risk. And you're gonna say, well, why don't they just use uh, closed loop reins? Well, a lot of times those aren't long enough for the wranglers to get off, just grab the reins, take it over the head and lead them off to the barn or where they're going to the hitching post and so forth. So that's one reason. The second reason is most dude ranches don't like horses tied up by the reins, okay? So they'll put the knot in there, prevent you know a new wrangler you know, to come up and tie the horse to the Hitching post with the reins. And most dude ranches also uh, are place establishments of different uh, equine centers. They ride with the halters underneath the head stall. Okay, and most horses are in a mechanical hackmore, they're in a snaffle bit, uh, rarely into a leverage bit because you just you have somebody that's never ridden before just get on and they're trying to check the bucket list in their life that hey I've ridden a horse let's take some pictures now okay and I've been to a lot of worked a lot of a couple of dude ranches and stuff my time and I got some funny stories to tell you about my different uh, acknowledgements and uh, but we'll save that for another time for the story so no further ado I'm going to talk about uh, the split reins so the most common way of doing split reins is obviously just tying overhand knot in the split reins and then you got your excess right here so people can come up here they can grab here so a wrangler tell them hey you control your horse better if you put your hand up right where the knot is okay that's the center line so a lot of times they'll adjust the knot down left and right and then have that for a center, mar center marker and the excess is just hanging off okay and you can see there's not enough to tie up if you got a new wrangler doesn't know much and they're just getting into the industry to learn uh, this prevents them to tie it up for the horse just for safety of the teeth of the animal. Not all places doing it. Like I said, it's just personal judgment. Whatever your standard operating procedures are for whatever ranch you're working at, uh, question center, so forth. All right, so that's one way of getting it done. And I do have videos showing how to do an overhand knot, but I'll show you real quick anyhow. So basically, you're just grabbing the two. You split reins together, you create a loop like such. You got my hole here. I show you, folks. And all I'm doing is making a pretzel. I'm gonna come in with the bitter ends, come right through the holes with both split reins together. I'm gonna match them up end to end like such. And I'm gonna pull through the pretzel knot. Okay, then I just got to clean it up a little bit because I have a little bit of excess here, which is no problem. I just find it and pull it through. There it is. Real easy pleasy. And I'm just going to clean it up. Until I have the overhand knot stacked up on top of each other. Like such. Okay, so that's the most common one out in the sector that you'll see. Just a simple overhand knot. Now, another problem with this knot though is a lot of people goofing around though just on time. Or if the reins are new, these start things start to tend to 
kind of separate. So that's kind of the disadvantage of it. You know, especially if you got real thick uh, reins, they'll start moving out on you. So that's one way to get the job done. Now, moving on to the second way. Second way is called a two-strand diving knot. Yes, folks, a two-strand diamond knot. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like here real quick. By the way, that other bit was a uh, Nymus. Well, actually, that was a Myler Comfort bit style for gated horses. And I use that because, heck, I train all breeds and all disciplined horses. So here's my slicer bit. You've probably seen a video on why I like uh, slicer bits, western bits. And uh, so please go look up that channel real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so here's another set of split reins. And what I have here is, I don't know if you can see it, but that is a two strand diamond hitch. Okay. You can see back here, that's kind of what it looks like. All right. It's just real easy, please. I really like it. And you know, you got it right because you got a locker bar here, you got another loop here, another loop on the other side which kind of creates an X on the back hand side. Now what's special about this knot is I really like is that it shoots out from the head stall, shoots out from the knot and creates a Y, an automatic Y around the horse's neck. And then you have the back side with the reins touching even Steven, okay, from the knot right here. They're not sticking out like a Y, like this, they're actually together. Just like such. So I'll show you how to make that knot here in a bit. And I'll use a piece of rope too, just to tighten up your shock group on learning. And it's a lot easier to tie on, you know, parachute cord, 550 cord, whatever, nylon cord, whatever you call it, than the flat stuff to be able to show you. And then we'll show you on this rain. All right, so stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't hit liked, please do. Please hit subscribe. Moving on, thank you. All right, folks, so to do this knot, what I like to do is take uh, the split reins off of the bit. And uh, so we got the water ties here. So what we'll go ahead and do is undo the water ties. I found it a lot easier to undo the reins to the bit for the two strand diamond knot. Because one end's going to split like a Y and the other one's going to be touching close together on the other side of the reins. So we'll go ahead and undo these water knots here. I'll set my uh, slicer bit off to on the ground here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm even Steven here. And I'm gonna take the wire loops and I'm gonna face them to me, throw out the excess to the north of me. I'm gonna make sure I got all the, either rough side or smooth side towards me. I prefer the smooth side. And I'm gonna grab right where the middle of the reins are. I'm just going to place them on my leg, okay? Now, I'm going to have the, the camera lady go around my right shoulder so she's got a better view, an aerial view of what's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strand here, run it underneath to the back side of the two strands, creating a loop. Now I'm going to hold my finger there. I'm going to take the other rein, Drop it over top, okay? So now you can see I got a loop in the loop. I'm gonna make it smaller to make it easier for myself. And since while I'm on this side anyhow, I'm just gonna run it through the back side of my left loop here and feed it through. Then I'm gonna just gonna close it up a little bit. Okay. Pinch it down. Now I'm going to take this one here that's running. And what I'm going to do is come over the top of everything and dive down into this loop here. What that does is create an X right here. Everybody see the X? So now I got a loop and a loop and an X right here. So now what I'm going to simply do, and you see it's already winding out, and these two are about touching. So now all I got to do is police up this uh, two strand diamond knot. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna follow the pattern and work on this left side first. 
and just tighten it up and work it nice and easy like then i'm going to do the same thing the other side i'm going to draw it up and i apologize if there's some breeze coming into my camera still trying to figure out the sound quality of the camera okay there we go now i'm going to tighten it up a little bit more still got my x here and i'm going to take this one flip it over so it's basically the same touching my reins here tighten up this one and you just slowly just start working this knot down it's not rocket science science here you don't have to go to college to figure out how to tie this knot all you got to do is go to elston equine solutions to learn this stuff that way you become the solution because now you're gaining the knowledge so on that phrase if you can hit like and subscribe to my channel it'd be much appreciated okay so now i got my x here as you can see i got a loop here and a loop here okay now i'm just going to make sure things nice and neat where things touching on top for the reins that are going out the back side Then I'm going to check out my front with the water loops, make sure things good. And you can already see that this is creating a Y that will go around nicely around a horse's neck to the bit. Okay, that's not too shabby. And you'll see that this one. These two strands to the reins are laying flat together. They're married up nicely, okay? And then that's all there is this knot. I got my X here. I got my loop and loop, and I can adjust it more if needed. And don't worry, folks. I'll do this again on a piece of rope, okay? All right, so there's my X, X. And I got my two lock and bar loops that you can take a look at. Okay, so that's easy pleasy. All right, so there's my Y. Just gonna set my reins once again, and we're gonna just go put it on the bit now. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead, put my water loops back on. You kind of get a bonus on this uh, this video because I'll show you how to tie split range to a water loop. If you don't know what a water loop is, that's this portion right here because it's put on there so when you this breaks, <clears throat> this thing could come undone and then the horse drinks, the water get on here instead of ruining your reins. Anyhow, that's uh, some Jeopardy knowledge there if you're playing Cowboy Jeopardy. So I just take these lace right through the hole tighten it up now i'm going to run the top hole strand from north to south then i'm going to take my bottom lace and i'm going to go from from west to east and i'm just going to go on top do the same thing and i don't pull the south north to south strand tight yet until i run my east to or west east strand through first okay just like such and then i'm just going to tighten it down so this is a friction knot and they work really well and it looks really really nice okay so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side and make sure my smooth side's facing out go a little bit faster on this one so i'm not wasting your time because i'm sure you want to do something else <clears throat> okay north to south go from west to east once again with my bottom lace circle back around on top of north south lace and just repeat it and i'm going up from bottom to top on the hole as you can see I'm trying to make sure my feeders aren't, my fingers are not blocking your view. And I just tighten it down. Okay. 
Now, when I hold this up, and if this was on the horse, this one ear, you could see that's wise out nicely around the neck of the horse. Okay. And then I got my back strand kicking out pretty nice. And it's just a good looking knot just to use, okay, for a horse. So that's the two strand diamond knot that you can use for split reins if you got a dude string, okay? And we'll show you again on a piece of uh, parachute cord just to tighten up your shock group on this so you're not as ate up as a chicken wire canoe trying to float. We don't want you to sink. Savvy? Alright folks, so I've already shown you on the reins how to tie on flat reins. They're a lot harder to, to tie. So I wanted to use this uh, parachute cord and uh, kind of demonstrate how to tie the two strand diamond knot, otherwise known as lanyard knot. So I got the two bitter ends at the end here. And what I'm going to do is just creep it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a loop like this. Just a loop. Now you see it's going on top? No good. Take it underneath both strands. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing with the other side. You're going to bring it up and over. So now what I should have and what you should have is this. I'll move my thumb and let you look at it for a second. Once we're done with this, what we're going to do is pinch it back down to the finger. And we're going to take the right strand and run it underneath the outside loop and go through this loop right here. As I did, once again, is go around the top, go behind, and go through the bottom of this one. Now we're going to take this strand, and we're just going to pop it down inside this loop. Now what we're going to do is slowly draw everything up nice and neat to where once you get to this position i like to generally pick it up and start working the bottom i'm pulling the bottom strands Start pulling the top strands. And I just repeat slowly. And I'll start working it up top. Holding on the bottom strands. Yeah, you'll look at it real closely. You'll see a two strand diamond knot. Because these two, once again, come right on top of each other. These ones spread out like a Y. So if you had reins, this would be the Y going to the bit. This would be the side going out to your hand. I'll look at the other side, same thing. So key points. Is an X and X, and that, my friends, is a two strand diamond knot. Voila. Thank you. <laughs>